Hi there, it's Tanya. Hello and welcome to the new series, which is The Botanicals. Um, I'm going to start right at the beginning. I've done a couple of videos so far showing um, the kits that I'm going to be using, the books that I'm going to be using, um, the kits that I've made up, what are going to be in the Etsy shop and... Um, another video uh, showing the rest of like the materials and things what what I'm going to be using so we're going to start off by um, stamping lots of things and I know it's probably going to be a little bit of a boring um, <laughs> episode but we need stamp stuff <laughs> and I think if you do it so, so much of it beforehand um, you've not got that, oh, I've got, you know, I want to stamp such and such and I've got to get all this uh, stuff out. So, <clears throat> I don't, if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll have seen me sitting one morning and painting these using the Patty, pa uh, sorry, the Patty Pockets um, stains. So, I've got so many of those out. So, all they are is they're just little... Um, jewellery tags but I was saying after that if you've got a little tiny um, oval punch or even a circle one you could um, make them yourself and just get like your all and poke a hole in it so I've got some of those I've got some tabs out um, I've got some of the little um, specimen slide type things and I've just got some off cuts of these are from the inside of a, a frame so I'm going to start off with those and these are the kinds of stamps that I want to use on them so these are at the Tim Holtz uh, field notes and I've picked out really uh, the number ones and I've got one here what's figure one and figure two and then there's a specimen label there now I've obviously had my uh, stamp platform, which I'm not going to use <coughs> on these. I'm just going to do these by by hand. So I will get my... I think that could do with... I must take that down and wash it in the sink. Um, and I've got... I'm going to, for these ones, use the Stays On Timber Brand and the Archival uh, Jet Black. So let's start with these. I'm thinking if I get them lined up so if I perhaps do four now let's check that these are going to fit that one's fine that one's fine I don't want filed on it that's too big that one's fine and I think this one will be fine. Maybe a little bit too big. So we'll just do them with those those three. And I thought these can be put on a little bulb pen and used um, as little dangles. Or they can be attached to a pocket or something like that. I'm sure they will come in very handy. I'll do it another way. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the timber brown first. Um, I don't know if to put it on a little block or, or not. Let's see. Um, I think it'll probably be easier just to do it uh, with my hands. So hopefully I got it in the right position. <laughs> so if we've got three, I'll probably do three and no. We'll start with two and then I'll go on to the to the black. I'll have to be. Oh, I like that. I like how it nearly didn't fit in. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, daylight. Come on. Like that one as well. I'm going to do one more in that. And one more in that. And we'll see what the black looks like now. Okay, so I've got the black archival out and <coughs> I'll do the others in in that one. Do that one. I don't know where I'm going to keep these things that I've stamped because um, where I'm putting the botanical stuff, I'm already overrun with stuff but um once i start using um things it won't be as bad so i'll do another one in that and another one in that that was a bit off off center so i'll do the other side that's better so I'm going to get some ball pins out and just have a look what they look like. So I've just attached ball pin to three of them and I really, really like them. I think they'll come in, come in handy. Um, so that's the first thing that we've done. Next up we've got some tabs. So I'm going to use <coughs> some of the longer ones on these so that would be a good one and that one and that one probably filed i think that'll probably be it's not too long but <coughs> i'll stick with with this i'll probably stick with the three because i do need um some more of those kinds of tabs so we'll <coughs> go in with the stays on and we'll do some in the black I like the writing on the on the file to the font yeah I like those so that's those ones and I'll do the the rest in in the archival um, <clears throat> I will put the link for this stamp in my Amazon front but I know the last time I looked to put it in my Amazon storefront it wasn't actually I'm gonna do one in this big one um, <clears throat> I couldn't find it on Amazon it was out of stock um, so I didn't actually get mine from Amazon I did get mine from um, scrapbooking.com so <clears throat> it did come from America um, but I'd ordered a couple of things and I think I think I got free delivery or yeah, I know the delivery wasn't um, expensive I do feel like it was free so that's those yeah yeah I like those they will come in handy so I've just give my um, bone folder and give it a good rub down when I use these I have to cut them in half but I like to keep them together until it I use them so I can just find uh, the opposite fit. So next we've got these um, specimens. <coughs> um, I'm going to treat that as a as a double. I think these all flip up so they've got their um, double with them. I think that's just a single. So <coughs> I'll use those as singles and the rest can be doubles so that means I would use them differently um, I would either stick that onto something because it's got no back 
or I would put some scrapbooking paper or um, book page or something behind it whereas those I would just use the the vellum um, or acetate so what are we going to put on these I kind of like this uh, figure one and two I think that looks really cool um, <clears throat> I don't know if there was anything else on the stamps that I wanted to use for these little um, things I quite like that one so, well I like them all but um, So we'll have, yeah, I like those. I um, don't think I want filed. I think that would be a good one. I don't think I want book number or form. I do like that long one and that one. So there'll only be one or two if... Um, the same the same one now I think I preferred the black ink on the craft card I don't feel like the the brown um, came up enough yeah I like that we're gonna have two in that one so that's that one let's do this one I have two in this one as well. I'll have one in the middle ish. Yeah, I really like that one. And we'll have one in the long or the bigger frame. I'm going to have that on that side. So that's fine. So we've used that one. Let's use this long one on one of these long ones. Very middle-ish. So and that's that one. And I've got a couple more. And then I'll have that on that side. Yeah, I didn't quite get the number, the n part, but that's fine. What's that? I can probably just go, I don't know what it would look like if I just go in with my Sharpie. That's fine. <coughs> so, that's those. And then the last two, we shall do those. In this, I'm going to go up here. Oh, I like that one. Again, I don't know why I keep saying that because I like them all. <laughs> I'm going to go in the middle. Brilliant. So, that's those ones. So, onto these um, square bits. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that I would probably do some collage or a sticker there. So I'm thinking I want something um, around here. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do three with the specimen. I'm not sure this is all done. Again, I'm going to use the, the black. I think it just shows up a little bit better. So that's that one. Yeah, I like how that's come out. I think I'll do the next one. I don't know what it'll look like at the at the top. Yeah, I'll do it at, at the top. So that's that. I'll just put those over that. And that's that one. 
And then the next one we'll do it <coughs> with the circle. I do think that looked better in the top. Yep. Um, top left. I think with the bigger ones you could do it using a, a pad. That's that. Make it okay. So next I'm going to use the stamping pad. <coughs> so I'm going to take um, that off. And I'm going to start loading it with um, stamps. Now these are a, a cheap one. Um, I think I bought them off Etsy. Um, I think there was a, a Chinese seller um so i would guess that you would um search label stamps so i'm going to put a whole sheet of paper under here so i haven't got to line it up where i want it exact on on the paper like if you was doing a tag or something you'd obviously want want to line it up um properly made any sense <laughs> just can't get that straight but like I say it doesn't really matter because um, all these will be being cut out um, I won't cut them out all, all in one go I'll probably leave them um, and cut out as, as I need because otherwise I'm going to have bits of paper everywhere and I thought, I know I've got digital um, printouts of these kinds of things, but um, I think it will just make a, a nice, nice change. Let's chat. Let's bring them in a little bit. So I'm hoping to get some of the Tim Holtz ones on as well. What's that definition for? Oh, no, I don't like that. And I'm not bothered about, <coughs> about that one. Um, so I'm going to put these two labels on and that one, Let's see what else we can fit on. Probably put those on. Can I fit all of them on? Probably put that that way, like so, and move that up and <clears throat> get that one in there. So that's it set up. Um, bring the board back in. Right, let's have a look at what paper I've got. So I've got this just. A fly sheet so I'm gonna put that in here I think that'll be fine won't it I don't know I'm sure I can use um, the foam ones on here they're just very close aren't they because the Tim Holtz ones are quite thick um, so let's try it. So I'm going to do the first one in brown. Okay, so I've inked all that up. Now I've not used these labels before, so maybe um, they might want inking up a couple of times. So let's get that on. Eek. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's atrocious. <laughs> and you know what I've done? Didn't put the magnets on, so the paper has just moved. Aha. 
Okay, round two. So I've ripped the paper down to size this time. I've just turned it turned it over and I've put the magnets on foot. That's now in the way, isn't it? So da -da -da. let's just mind you, we kind of know where the paper goes now because it's to to size. So yeah, I've inked them all back up. I don't know if these ones are gonna gonna work on it. Maybe I've just got too too many on. Let's just take. Because obviously these don't even really press down because they're that thick. And now they have worked. Hmm. So I obviously don't need to ink those up again. Um, let's. In fact, I'm going to take those off because then I'll be able to press down further with these because obviously these are thinner than what those are. So I've learnt something with that. Obviously, they've all got to be the same kind of um, thickness. Otherwise, it's it's not going to press down uh, enough to make an imprint on the thinner ones. So yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> so let's let's go again. I can obviously have that up there this time. Looks as if they've printed a lot better. I don't know. I'm guessing one or two will still have missing parts. So that one's that one's smudged a little bit. Why are they back to front? Oh, it's because they've not wrote it back to front on that so I'm going to throw that one away because why would you want something that's um, <laughs> the, the, the wrong way um, so yeah they still do now I'm wondering if this one up there is maybe too far up up the top so let's let's have another go Okay, so I've inked them all up again. I think what this is showing me is maybe the um, foam ones, you are better just, just doing them yourself and not using the stamp. Um, So that's definitely done. See, I like these. Are they not perfect anyway? It's just these top two now. I was hoping to keep these these on, but um, maybe um, I'd put too many on kind of thing. So I'm just going to ink these two up again. Oof. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go again. Yeah. Just the middle one now that's not not doing. Right, take that one off. Maybe you can only do one at a time. Maybe it's more for, obviously, the 
the precision getting the right precision every time. Yeah, that one's there. So wow, that that took some <laughs> took some time to do. Okay then, so out of that set, um, I prefer these four. So I definitely want to stamp some some more of those, and I obviously like all the Tim Holtz ones. So I'll put that to one side. Let's have a look what we've got next. I've got some um, the decorators paper. So I'm going to put that on. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute those um, a little bit better. So maybe I could just do the middle and then I can go in after with the Tim Holtz ones um, at the top. So let's try that. And I'm going to go for the archival, so the black. Okay. See, see what happens this time. Oh, get us magnets on. Oh, zinc will have dried. So, put that there. And that. And. Let's have a little peep at that. That's not come out too bad at all. Really, all what one's doing is a little bit on the circle and this frame here. So, more down that side. Oh, on that corner. But, um, yeah, the other two are, are fine. I suppose if I wanted a a, crisp, a more crispy image, maybe go over it again. But yeah, I like that on the on the decorators paint, um, decorators paper, <laughs> not on his paint. Have a look. Just go down. That's never enough perfect. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to place these on here take those <coughs> off okay so I've placed those Tim Holtz ones on I shall oh I think that's gonna be yeah that's not in the in the grid I don't think that's allowed so you'll have to go there okay probably that one wants going in 
Look a bit more. I think I'm going to do that one side on. That needs going in more. Maybe even more. So let's move that. Okay, I think that's fine. So we'll press it down. Hopefully it's caught them all. Yep. And we'll go with the black. Yeah, I think as well when you've got a lot on at the same time, it's harder to individually make sure that the ring top whereas i suppose doing it in sections you can you can get around a little bit better in theory <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens so <clears throat> let's get this straightened back up and let's see what happens okay I'll have a little peep. The two labels have done fine. Yeah, I would say, yeah. So, I think, I'm wondering if I can fit another couple on. So maybe do another one of those. Do another one of that be careful not to rub it across the paper case there's more ink still on so <clears throat> let's catch catch them so it's, it's made a slight imprint already look Okay, oh, keep catching those, those little ones. Oof. So yeah, that's lovely. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to just move the paper across and do a few more. Okay, so I've replaced those three. Let me just catch them. Okay. Get the ink pad. Okay. Look at that. Probably just a little bit more over that. That's lovely. So that's another page filled. Let's have a look what other paper I've got. Okay, I've put my next lot of uh, stamps on and I've chosen this checked um, paper. So I'm going to put that on. Let's ink these up. I'm going to do it with the archival. I'm hoping that I've separated them enough that I can go in then a second time and go in between. Because I think now they're kind of distributed out um, nicely so you can get your ink on them. Plus the, you know, it being, oh, yeah, you know what I mean. So, oh, I've not put my, oh, and that's too far over. 
nobody move okay just going to slap oh, these magnets are so strong slip those in like that so <coughs> the lid on this before I end up with my <laughs> sleeve sleeve in it okay that's worked out nice so I'm gonna bring it over a little bit yeah take the magnets off Tanya right so the magnets back on and I'm going to place that there that there let's go that there might not be able to fit the circle on again so I'm going to put that there and that there I'm not sure if that might be hanging a little bit too too down so let's grab hold of these yeah just so press down to grab them yeah I think once you kind of learn where everything, you know, where your actual uh, bit is that you can stamp in, it, it starts to make more, more sense. Obviously, this is really the first time I've used it. Used it quickly um, in one of the vlogs, just doing one image. So this is, you know, the actual first time I've, I've had a play with that. My dread is that you're going like that and they start and your stamps start falling off. I mean you won't expect that with the Tim Holtz stamps, but after time when they get old, I wonder um if that becomes a problem. Now I've got my let me put my butter glasses on. Okay. So yeah, that's that's perfect. So that's that one. Um, I am actually going to just tear this off because I want to have that top piece because I thought it would be good for getting in collage. And I'm going to rip some of this bottom piece off. Again, I'm going to save it for collage so we've got that a one the one on the fly sheets and the one on the green so far so I'm going to look what I've got next so this time I've got some brown paper this is um, packing paper I've loaded um, this on oh. <laughs> what was I just saying Oh dear. I suppose it, the smaller ones have got less um, to stick. I didn't really want to put my fingers on them and press them down because obviously um, I've inked on them. Right. Okay. So let's make sure. Mm, they're probably too high up so I think once I learn really it wants going down to that second uh, one don't know if then that'll be too too low so let's move all those down to the second one I'm going to have that sideways, then that, 
And then that. Let's have a, have a look at that. Let's get some magnets on. Yeah, that's a lot better. So, yeah, you want to really be on that. You see my K okay, that side and, and that side and then to the bottom. It just seems to be the top one that you've got to be wary of. So, they're all on. And let's get these inked. Again, I'm going to go in with the archival the black now I thought I'd put lots on just to try um, was it when I mix the Timolts with the cheaper ones um, that's why it didn't work but maybe I can put lots of Timolts on all at the same time so that's why I've gone back to doing a full one. So we shall see. Let's have a look. Yeah, they've come out fine. Look at that. <coughs> So that paper's <coughs> definitely finished. So again, let's move that out of the way. I shall go down there and go across there. So I think that's enough um, images. I am going to just have a quick tidy and I'm going to get my letters out and going to make some some words so yeah i'm really happy with those so i've got four sheets to tear around and that's something else i suppose when you're doing them like this probably need to gap them uh, a little bit more if you're thinking of tearing around them i think that's probably fine um so yeah about two four six eight 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, so you can fit about 10 ish on at a time, which that's not bad. Right, I'll see you in a tick. So I'm going to finish today's <coughs> video off with got some wooden stamps, and these ones are from In Love Arts, and these ones are from PB Craft. So with the scraps that I've got left, I'm just going to um, fill up fill up the space. So I'm just going to use the timber brown and the black. So these haven't been stamped before, so <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I should stamp it off on something first. Let me just grab um, a bit of scrap paper. I know that's going to have come out fine. Okay, am I in frame? Yep. So what I'm going to do is let's just put the four different ones together and I'm hoping that I can go dip, dip, dip. Okay. So we'll start at the top. I'm hoping that my um, circle punch, one of the circle punches I've got, will um, cut these out, which would be absolutely fab. Oh, I like that on the on the check paper. So yeah, they're they're really nice. Right, I'll do another couple in the same one. 
leave a little bit of space so that's that one used shall we do a couple in black These are so much easier to, to stamp with the, the block ones, especially when they're this kind of size. Um, I've only got that one big block one. And if you remember, if you did see me use it, um, it took me a long time to get to get an imprint. Um, I do need to go back and, and have a play with that because I've, I've not got it out again. Um, since so I'll do some uh, this one I think these are going to make great embellishments for clusters and things like that mixing in collage yep that's a daisy shall we I shouldn't rather go on to the other colour, but... can't really tell the difference in, in the colours, to be honest. So, that's enough of those ones. And then we'll do a few of the bird. Just do that one. That. So, that's that one used. And I think with this one, it is hard not to get that imprint um, round it. Maybe when I press it on, I need to not press um, the outer so much. Ah, that's it. Okay. So I'm really new to um, stamping and things. So <clears throat> for me, it's all um, a learning process and I think it's because there's so many different types of well, oh no uh, types of stamps it's um learning learning each one of them yeah a baby one oh. that's that Right, let's do a couple more. On the green. I like it on the green. Let's try and Yeah, I do like that. Oops. So yes, with these it looks as if you've got to be careful when you're putting them in the ink. So, and careful when you're actually putting them down on the paper, not to over push it. But then see, then other stamps need really pushing. So I think it's, um, and I'm glad that I've not got a lot of stamps because I can probably over time get to know these a bit better and and remember what needs uh, what. Well, that's come out nice. I don't know if you can see that. I like that. I don't know if it probably fit one in there so yeah like that one so that's another one filled I'm gonna try going side on and I might be able to get two in That's that. 
just going to do a couple on the brown paper. And that's that. So I think we've got lots of stuff. So let's have a quick look at what we've made. Let's get these lids on. Can anybody see the oh, it's there? <clears throat> the bits of plastic. So right at the beginning we did these little danglers. We've got us page tabs. Some frames, just some squares of paper, and then we've got some imprints on all the different papers, and we've got more on here. So I shall have to keep all these pieces of paper clipped, clipped together. So I might actually put them in my uh, collage folder, and then I won't for, forget about them. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to do a part two um, and we'll do some word stamping because um, I always think I wish I had such and such word and then I can't be bothered to get, to get everything out. So I shall see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Like I say, it is going to be a bit of a slow, slow burner. Um, I'm just like building up my stash um you know ready to make the the big things like pockets and tags and and things like that but um we need stuff don't we to to start off so i shall see you next week for another episode in the botanicals thank you very much bye